there, Masketeers. Welcome to the Disneyland beat where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. We know it'll be a while before these shows and parades are all up and running. But we have been missing Disneyland and we wanted to take a trip down memory lane. And they will, of course, reopen eventually. And if you've never been, we want you to know your options. So today, we are going to look at our top 10 favorite nighttime spectaculars at the Disneyland Resorts. Like, subscribe, and stick around. Welcome back, folks. Today, we'll be looking at some nighttime events. But we're going to stick to things that the average person can usually get tickets to. No openings or press events. Okay, here we go. If the absolute fright fests going on at Universal, Knott's, and Magic Mountain are not your thing, you can head to Disneyland for some Disney-level Halloween fun. Mickey's Halloween Party is a can't miss, and twice during the evening events, they run Mickey's Frightfully Fun Parade, followed by Halloween Screams. The different floats include Mickey and Minnie and Dr. Facilier from The Princess and the Frog and The Haunted Mansion. Which comes complete with dancing ghost partygoers and grave diggers, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and a massive villains float that also has Vampirina. The events are always fun with lots of trick-or-treating and character greets. Halloween Screams is tons of fun with the giant Jack Skellington head. And Zero flies up where Tinkerbell usually is. We just love them both. This Disneyland Nighttime Spectacular is a fun EDM-styled nighttime show featuring Mickey as your DJ. Sometimes it has fireworks, other times it can be just projections and lighting, you know, weekend, weekday. And the lighting stands out to us as really cool compared to some of the other shows. They did some great lighting upgrades to Main Street just for this one. But overall, it certainly does not have the depth of some of the shows we will talk about later. But the little ones love it. And it's a great dance party show. You can't help but move it. This holiday season show is pretty amazing and spectacular. The castle is all dressed up, sparkling in its finest. You've been enjoying the Haunted Mansion holiday and it's a small world overlays. The music and the show are beautiful and moving. And when the gingerbread scented snow falls, the sense of community in the park makes your heart warm. And for a brief moment, even though it is not, all is right with the world. To anyone who lives close enough to Disneyland to go more than once per year, the Main Street Electrical Parade is probably your baby. And it seems likely that this long-running favorite has completed its final performance at Disneyland. But you never know, it has come out of retirement before. Composed of light-up floats and costumes, it fulfills that base satisfaction of pretty lights at night. And just try getting that music out of your head. Yeah, we absolutely love it. This touching fireworks show focuses on Disney and Disneyland history. It tells the story of Walt Disney and his vision for the park and the company. As well as having lots of music, including a song written specifically for the show by Richard Sherman. And the show features several of the Sherman Brothers' more famous songs from Disney classics. We're not sure if this show has been retired either. It was running in 2019. And we think we will see this one around again. The new Magic Happens Parade is the first truly hybrid parade we can think of to run at Disneyland. The Christmas Holiday Wish Parade runs during both the daytime and the nighttime. But this is the first one we can think of that is designed to look spectacular in sunlight with colorful, sparkling floats and characters. Yet also to have light-up effects that look great and can only really be appreciated at night. We can't wait for this one to get back up and running. We are not sure if this one has been retired for good or not. But it's one of our favorite Disneyland fireworks shows ever presented. We love that it focused on the attractions at Disneyland. It was pretty long at 16 minutes and it was just so much fun. It wasn't just a sizzle reel of Disney animated features. It was a truly Disneyland show that explored and had fun with the park itself. The spiritual successor to the Main Street Electrical Parade, the Paint the Night Parade is the best nighttime parade we think we have ever seen. Largely Pixar themed, its bass music revolves around When Can I See You Again from Wreck-It Ralph. All the lights on the floats are LEDs and wow does it show, it's so bright and vibrant and fun. And the Cars characters look totally amazing too. There were rumors flying around that the park is trying to adapt the parade for downtown Disney. Which would be awesome! 
But we are no longer holding our breath for that one. The parade closed at DCA, sadly leaving the park with no parade, but it should continue its run in Hong Kong Disneyland when they reopen. This innovative spectacular boasts one of the most impressive show systems ever built. With hundreds of fountains, lights, and projectors built into the Pixar Pier attractions and Paradise Lagoon, this stage for this spectacular is hidden during the day. But it really unfolds at night and will completely blow you away. It is not to be missed. The show is a moving journey through Disney films and relies heavily on projections and animated characters to move things forward. And it truly does overwhelm your senses. It is huge in scale, and the show really defines the word spectacular. But for us, the best nighttime show at Disneyland is still Fantasmic. It may not have the number of fountains that World of Color has, but it has much more humanity to connect with. Including live actors in the show simply puts it over the top. Oh, we want the technology. We love the fountains, the fire, the projections, and more. But it still needs to include characters, some type of human to relate to. And boy does this show deliver. When the sailing ship Columbia makes its way around the bend, your, your jaw just drops. And like World of Color, the stage is built into the park. The show happens organically. It's absolutely perfect even if it does create a crazy bottleneck of traffic. True, but when you compare it to the Walt Disney World version where there's a huge prepared stage, it just doesn't have the same magic as the Disneyland show. It is our favorite Disneyland attraction. We think, at least today anyway. Oh, and we love them all. Anyhow, thanks so much for joining us today on our nighttime journey into the park. We have a lot of cool videos coming up and some fun plans and collaborations planned for our June Disneyland news segment. You're really going to like it. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate you so much. We can't wait until we can all be together in the park safely. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. See you real soon.